Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and today is the day. Uh, today is the day that we get attacked by a lot of big, dangerous bots, and uh, probably figure out everything that's wrong with our base defenses that we built up in the meantime. And oh boy, I'm seeing debris and stuff from the last attack. So if you uh, if you missed the last episode, we got attacked by a big red guy, and um, I still have an entire plot of high tier 200 high tier crops so tonight i'm expecting that we're gonna have three big bosses attacking and we have less than we have like half actually we have literally half a day now to prepare for that based on our last raid so the issue that we're having is um i don't even know if this trap in the front here is effective against the big guys because when the big guy came he came from the side just like i was really hoping he wouldn't and he found himself going right up into here and uh, destroying some of this. And you can see I have lined it with tier 3 metal in response to that. And I've lined the other side with tier 3 metal in case he comes from the other side over here. And I asked you guys for advice on what else I could maybe do. And overwhelmingly, most people were pointing towards I should repurpose my warehouse keys and maybe uh, put those on the side so that if they do get over on the side, they don't actually break through and get into my farm. So I think that that's, that's a suitable idea. So I'm going to take what little time I have right now and let's try to do some of that. Um, I was hoping that I can't really think of a way to do it, but I really wish that we could force them uh, or I can't think of an easy way to do it. There are ways to do it, but I can't think of an easy way that doesn't cost a whole ton of resources to be able to force the big bots or any of the bots to go and just approach from the front where my main defenses are. All right, so let's see, where am I keeping my warehouse keys? I know I got a couple over here. There we go. And the rest are on this uh, panic cube, the safe, safe space, <laughs> my safety box that I built as an experiment. If you missed that episode, definitely go check that out. Why am I so full of stuff? Oh, okay. I gotta, gotta do some inventory management. Oh, the other thing that I realized at the end of the last episode, ooh, we have a sprout here, was uh, that I forgot that the high tier crops, they take so long to sprout that you actually need to water them twice. So that's one of the reasons why they were taking so long was because I forgot to water them a second time. So they were just sitting there not growing for a little bit. So they're sprouting now. And you know what, with the warehouse keys I have on myself right now, let's start uh, applying them. So I guess I'll do... Like this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is right. I mean, I guess I can also put them. Oh, I can't put the what? Oh, oh, I can put it. Oh, there we go. All right, I got it. I got this. And you know what? He also did attack this from the side as well. So let's go ahead and give this some protection like that. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. What if he just gets right here, though? I'm out of warehouse keys now. This is actually... Quite a few warehouse keys just for the side project here. What about this? Yeah, I'll do that and I'll put another one right there. All right, so I mean, I feel like this is pretty well protected on this side. And this is the side that I think is way more likely to get a, a bot. Uh, the other thing is people were saying that I should replace this with tier three metal, which I think is a great idea. So here, let me do this real quick. So there's a, in case you guys weren't aware, if you do that, you don't have to actually cut it and then reapply it. So now we got tier three metal just like that. All right, so now I'm hoping that the chances of one of these sensors being hit by one of the tape bots or whoever broke it last time, it's gonna be much less likely with uh, this setup here. All right, now let's make sure they all work. Okay, that didn't work, probably because I gotta set this back to its length. <laughs> Right, and, ooh, ooh, that one didn't work. That one didn't work well at all, did it? Uh, that concerns me a little bit. I mean, if I'm walking, it's fine. I think the issue, I'm worried, that time it worked. I'm worried that the issue is that this added weight, that's gonna slow it down, basically. I'm hoping that's not what's happening here. Okay, so we have four minutes left. Oh no, all right, let's get the other warehouse keys and do, what else, what else do we have on me? All right, yeah, let's just get the other warehouse keys and we are going to add warehouse keys to the other side because if we have three bosses, I'm worried that two of them are going to come to either side and not on the main area. Ooh, this side's a much bigger issue, I feel like. 
Um, all right. I guess I'm just gonna build out like I don't know. This is difficult. I don't know. Is that is that gonna work? Is that gonna be suitable? I hope. I hope that's gonna work. We have two minutes. Two minutes till crazy raid. So the plan is we survive this raid however much we can. Let me make sure that I am uh I am all set to sleep or respawn here because the tape bots, they're gonna hit me for sure. Let's drink some milk and let's get a bunch of extra extra ammo. And oh, all of this is sprouted. So we gotta make sure that ooh, we really gotta make sure that we deal with this after this raid. Otherwise, we're gonna get another raid. All right, let's get plenty of ammo on us. And you know what? I'm gonna take one of these for now and we are, we're gonna put it up here. We're gonna get some extra ammo because if I die, I don't want to have to get to my bag. I want to just be able to pick up ammo and start shooting again. So let's go ahead and put this right next to our bed. I also saw that as a recommendation from a few people in the comments. All right, so I got plenty of ammo. On, I'm, I need more ammo on me because if we're dealing with three bosses, I have to shoot them all. So we're just going to have a whole bunch of ammo on me. All right, guys, we have less than a minute left. All right, Hank, please wish me luck. Help me out again. Distract someone if you can. Oh, let's uh, activate the bounce floor. Draw bridges are up. Everything is ready. Oh, let's make sure that this works. All right. Yep, that works. All right. Less than 30 seconds. <sighs> Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I don't have machicolations over here. I didn't put machicolations over here. That was a mistake. Okay. Well, it's going to happen. 10 seconds. Here it comes. Here it goes. Oh, not 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. All right, uh, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna go for tape bots first because they kill me really quickly and we definitely have three bots- three bosses coming. All right, let's get the bosses all set. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, <gasps> it's working! All right, he's- he's causing damage. Hold on. What? 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 That's terrible! That's awesome and terrible at the same time! What's happening? What's happening? He's destroying my trap. It is so laggy right now. Oh, all right. Zoom in. Zoom in. He's destroying my entire trap. Come on. Come on. Uh, I can't. I can't deal with this right now. All right. My trap's already destroyed. Let's just. Uh, what is happening? Who? Who's? Oh, they're all piled. This is what's happening. I figured it out. All right. Come on. Shoot them. There we go. There we go. Oh. What? Whoa, who? There's another tape bot. There's another tape bot. There's another tape bot. I can't tell what's happening right now. All right, come on. There we go. Where's Big Red? Is Big Red ragdolled? No, he is not ragdolled. All right, there we go. Now he's ragdolled. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. He's falling off. He's falling off. We gotta go get him. We gotta go get him. Oh, I fell down. That was not the plan. That was not the plan. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, this isn't good. This is not good down here. This is really bad. Oh, this got destroyed too? This is... What? This got disconnected. The whole trap got disabled. That was terrible. Wow. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to think about what just happened, but you know, oh, I need to, I have a couple minutes left. I need to get rid of these crops before 4.30 happens. Because I, I cannot handle another raid like that right now. That was, we did, our trap, not good, not good enough. I mean, our farm is fine. Our defenses defended our farm. The problem is, uh, the, pr the problem is we sustained a lot of inconvenient damage. Okay, all the crops are harvested, so we should be raidless in the next night. So now is the time to learn and uh, assess the damage and figure out what this means for the future of our base. It's just, it, it, it's, I, I thought I had, I thought I had a lot going for me here with the bosses coming from the front. Well, it, I did have a lot going for me here. No, no, let, let, let's let's try to remember what actually happened. It was so hard to keep track because I was trying to do so many things at once. But two bosses got killed without me even shooting them. 
That's kind of amazing. Whatever we had going on, oh, that's why. It just clicked. So remember our car, our boss launcher with the car? How it would launch them up into the air and then they would land on the ground and take massive damage. But the Haybots and the Greenies, even if they would get launched in the air, they don't take fall damage. But what's happening with this trap that we made in the front, it pushes them back at such a high speed. I think they're still taking the damage. Ooh, this got destroyed too. All right, these are pretty much useless against those guys. So I think I'm going to... Uh, dismantle these because these are kind of like a novelty. They're fun, but uh, they don't have a huge impact and they're kind of just like in the way. So I'm going to repurpose these floors to repair what happened here. Now, what happened here is bad because we were able to destroy the bosses, but they explode when they die, which I forgot that that was a thing. And those explosions seem extremely powerful, unfortunately. I'm going to have to put this engine somewhere else. I learned that this is a terrible place for this. Obviously, disconnecting that connection made uh, made this entire thing useless, which probably could have saved me against that last bot who carved those holes. Oh, the adrenaline is flowing right now. The adrenaline is definitely flowing. But I am determined now. I am determined to create a boss-proof base. The thing is, how do we resist explosions? All right, this side looks good. And how is the gas doing on this, by the way? We're down to six, so that's, that's been doing pretty good. Inventory full, really. All right, obviously the sides are fine because none of the bosses really attack the sides. All right, so let's put the ramps back. Oh, my inventory's full. I, I knew that. Let's put all of our potatoes back. All right, inventory's been managed, so we need to put this engine somewhere much safer. Right now, I'm going to work on dismantling some of these traps and repurposing these warehouse ramps to go back on to here. I wish there was, like, another ramp piece that was... Higher in durability. This is eight durability. Ramp pieces are only six. That explains why some of the metals survived the explosions, but none of the ramp pieces did, especially when they exploded on the ramp. But these ramp pieces are crucial for the non-boss raids where like the hay bots and stuff are coming because it helps them so much to get up onto this trap. All right, so that is all of that filled in. Now I am concerned because if that keeps happening, I feel like there's a finite number of these in the world right now. It's only what we can get from the top of the warehouse, because the warehouses themselves aren't really lootable, and as far as I'm aware, nothing respawns at the warehouses. So that does concern me a little bit. But it does seem like, at least one thing I learned from this raid, I feel like it is most effective to prioritize the tape bots first, because they are your big, your personal biggest threat. They're going to kill you and prevent you from killing anything else. So it's important to take those guys out and then focus on the boss guys. All right, everyone say goodbye to the skeet shooting traps. I don't know, maybe I really, really did enjoy watching these things work when they worked. As you can see, they did not handle the bosses very well. That means maybe we can do another experiment out here. We're going to have all this space out front now, so perhaps we can do something else with this. The good news is uh, I'm getting a lot of backup ramps for if that happens again and they destroy our ramp pieces then hopefully we'll have at least a few more replacements left over. The engine, we want it to be somewhere safe. So I guess I'll put the engine back here, and this is going to give us easy access for fuel and stuff. Oh, no, I can't. I forgot about this. So we have the issue that our trap up on the front is separate. All right, I'm going to build down right here, and then I'm going to build over and out in this direction, and I'm going to put my engine right here. Does that interfere with the bounce? Does that interfere? Does it interfere with the bounce floor? Doesn't appear so. All right. So then I'm going to protect it on all sides except this left side here, and the top, I guess. So I think the chances. I think the least chance of a boss exploding is on this side, in this area. So that's why I'm choosing right here, and then we can easily fill it with gas from the side like this. All right, so now I just need to connect all these bearings back up. All right, and I'm noticing that the logic gate is also kind of in a slightly exposed area over here. So if a boss explodes right here, there's a chance he could destroy the logic gate under there. But the good thing about that is I'm pretty sure if this logic gate gets destroyed, the trap just turns on indefinitely until it runs out of gas. So that's not going to be a huge, as big of an issue as if the engine gets destroyed and the trap doesn't work. So I will move the logic gate. If the logic gate gets destroyed, I'll just make a new one somewhere safer. 
because that's not going to be a, a danger if that logic gate gets destroyed at this point. All right, and now we turn the engine up and we should be... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I forgot to hook up the logic gate to the engine. <laughs> that explains that. There we go. And now we should be good. Yep, trap should work now. We just need to replace a couple of wheels. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I found some other areas that got damaged. Look at this. We got some holes up here. I forgot that the tape bot shoot other stuff. Of course, they're going to damage the glass. Oh, I forgot I need concrete, too. Man, those tape bots. I, I don't like the tape bots because they, they shoot. Like, they just shoot your base. They just shoot your base. It's hard to defend against that. It's like, your whole base is just exposed, right? All right, so we definitely got some more repairs to do. I'm going to fill in all the concrete now. All right, there we go. So this wasn't so bad. Considering it's just one layer thick of concrete, that wasn't so bad. Having the boss bot up here and attacking. He eventually did get ragdolled and he got destroyed. I'm actually, oh, I'm really thankful he got destroyed over here. I never considered the fact that they explode when they die. Because if he was ragdolling right here and then I shot him and destroyed him, he would have blew a hole all through the front here and through this floor. He would have destroyed some of these pistons. We have to rethink... We have to rethink boss defense. Oh, 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 look over here. What? How did this happen? There's so much damage done to this, uh, the bridge mounting area, the bridge entryway. Is that just from the bosses walking over it? There's way more damage from this raid then like, I mean, I was expecting it to be a challenge, but there was such a, a variety of damage that I didn't expect. See any other damage spots from at least the outside? I think it's looking pretty good from the front. It's okay from the sides. Here, let's bring this bridge down. I see one spot up there that was from the last raid, I think. And boop, there we go. Bridges still work, so that's good. They didn't damage any of the bridge mechanisms. It's actually kind of nice having it more clear out here. It seems like these these barricades I put up in the last episode when I thought... What is this? Oh, I think a tree used to be there. Is that part of a tree? Maybe part of a tree stump? But when I thought that the tape bots might be aiming for the nearest blocks, um, I put these barric these like mini distraction barricades up, but that seems to have been completely ineffective. They haven't taken any damage at all from anything, so the tape bots definitely do not just focus on the closest blocks to them, unfortunately. It seems like they'll fire at anything, including my beautiful archways that I built. Okay, so I'm going to add the uh, matriculations onto this side as well. It is something I meant to do before this raid, but totally forgot, unfortunately. So now, if there is boss over here, we can shoot the boss pretty much anywhere, anywhere he might be on the side here. All right, so this is how many ramp pieces I have left. I have one small container, and oh, I have this one here too, and I actually am looking for room for another set. All right, so if at some point in the future we decide to do another boss raid, we have ample, not ample, but we have a decent amount of uh, ramp replacement, so that's good. So I think with the uh, with the inclusion of this wheel right here, I think we've officially repaired all oops all of the major damage. Oh no, I got to repair some of the floor here as well. I mean, I have a bunch of holes in my floor, but it's a net, so I mean holes are kind of normal. But I don't want huge holes like this, that's for sure. Oh, Hank is gone. Hank left us too. Wow, this has just been a terrible, absolutely terrible experience. I'm gonna build a new home for Hank, by the way, at some point. Ooh. What if I build a home on that rock? And then we can have a bridge going out and then we can let the bridge up. He can have his own little moated <laughs> base. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Something to look forward to in future episodes. But uh, my response to this raid, and I'm gonna want some of your guys' opinions too, is the bosses are actually way more dangerous than I rem than I anticipated them being because of the fact that their death causes a massive explosion that just destroys things that are at least like tier uh, like level six for defense because I think the ramps are level six durability. So if we're going to have a base that can defend effectively against bosses. We need to be able to kill them at a distance. They can't be up in front of our base when they die. So I think like 
This almost worked. This almost worked, but it didn't shoot them back far enough. They ended up being right here and dying and exploding. So if we're going to deal with raids like this again, we have to be able to keep them at bay and then give them damage and then have them explode in a safe spot somehow. I feel like a, like launching them back is the best way to do that, but this doesn't work that way. Because this just launches like straight back. It doesn't launch up and back. And in order for it to launch them up and back, it has to be like the car where they're hitting like the front of the wheels and then getting sent past the wheels, which would send them into our base. So I'm going to say our base is decent. We have a decent amount of base defense here, but it is not good enough. It is not optimal. We definitely need some more, some more big brain action going on. Whoops. So I will be reading the comments on this video. I'm curious what your reaction is. What did you guys think of the raid? Did I do better or worse at defending than you expected? The lag definitely didn't help when everybody piled up down below after the wheel trap broke, thanks to those explosions. But overall, no major damage was done. We were able to repair everything pretty quickly without having to really make any more resources. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this. And if you've been enjoying, if you've been enjoying the episodes, then go ahead and check out more content on the end screen right here and help support the channel. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.